When you think of New Jersey, you might not think of solar energy, but you should. New Jersey is second only to California in solar capacity. It second. is second to California. It's got very large part to do with the policies that were put in place at a very early stage here in New Jersey that encouraged solar development. And if you're wondering why there's a life-size M&M standing there, it's because Mars, the makers of M&Ms, have added a sprawling 18-acre solar farm to their Hackettstown headquarters. This is the kind of thing that's really going to be cutting edge. And right now, for instance, in Washington, you have gridlock on any movement whatsoever relative really to dealing with how you enhance the environment, meet our energy demands, our coming energy demands, and still allow business to develop and make a profit. It's when businesses get together with utilities, say, we can do this, we can make this difference, we can still make money, and we can make the world a better place that uh, really sends a message to people. Absolutely makes economic sense. Makes, makes economic sense because, I mean, if you look at what we did here, we, there's were, you know, we employed um, people from the town of Hackettstown, from northern New Jersey to help this, you know, matter. It's, this is going to provide, you know, cost savings, you know, for our, for our business here in Hackettstown due to the, um, the cost of this type of energy. And it's going to, it's going to, obviously, as we talked about today, provide great benefits for the, uh, for the environment. So environment, local economy, consumer, it, it's really, it's a win-win-win.